I'm John Bishop, and you're watching the Red Men TV. Chris Pajak, what's going on? Oh, mate, loads, mate. We've won 2 0 at Anfield. It's absolutely brilliant. Like, it's just great to be back and winning. And you know what? That's a great way to spend the Monday night, isn't it? And you know what? The best thing about it all was, though, John Carver, he's a proper whopper. Him, like, you should have heard what he was going on about. I mean, he was giving the fourth official some shit. Like, I mean, he turns around at one point and told the fourth official he was going to batter the ref at half time. He called him a fucking nugget. He was like, he's a fucking nugget to the fourth official and stuff like this. And he was just like that the entire a game he was getting himself worked up into a little frenzy. I think he must have had a wank at half time to start calm himself shilla, down. Like, do you know what I mean? Like. Honestly, like he was just insane the whole way through. Yeah. Just comedy gold. I thought Allardyce was bad. John Carver is hilarious. He is a fucking hilarious manager, and he doesn't know what he's doing. He spent ninety percent of the game screaming at the fourth official instead of watching the match, which obviously meant I spent ninety percent of the game <laughs> looking at John Carver. Why are you not talking about the footy and so. <laughs> <laughs> Chris isn't talking about the game very much. Uh, basically, spent you, you've been on Carver watch today. I've made it, and it's been brilliant. I tell you, it's been lovely. It's normally, what it's like on a Sunday night in ours would be mum. Carver watch. Yeah. Um, the, <laughs> sorry, mum. Um, yeah, I, look, we 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 had some moments of absolute brilliance tonight. Phil Coutinho, that one where he, he was just doing stuff. I don't know what he, I don't know. What, I literally black I magic. I have no idea what he did, but he did it, and he just went past about six players at once. And then the one where Moreno flicked it on again, and Coutinho got fouled. And you're like, Phil, what are you doing? Phil, seriously, Phil, can you please show me how to do that? Even if it's just on FIFA, just show me. Get in touch. I, I miss the blood red. Do you know I, what I mean? I want, I want, a, I want a, like a, a flick picture, a flick diagram of I, 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 the bench were all like, whoa. It's like, what honestly is he doing? Like, and he's just, and he just, he's just so good and he ran himself into ground for the team but then he got even better when he went back into the midfield didn't he and he just started controlling the game now like first half I thought we were brilliant but Jack texted me actually and said it's like a cat playing with a fucking half dead mouse yeah. and that's what it felt like with Liverpool and Newcastle tonight didn't it you know we just needed to finish them off and I was, I was a little bit worried because second half we didn't really come out the blocks we'd stop playing down the left hand side Moreno and Sterling were superb first half second half we seemed to play down with Johnson and Ibe and it you know, Johnson fucked that up, didn't he? In fairness, like, thought That's he was question. awful. Is Moreno, Allen, and Sterling the smallest left hand side in the history of football? Oh, with, hang on, I'll just check Google. Out of the Pygmy League. I don't know, sure. Google says yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was the who was your man of the match? I'm going to give it to Dejan Lovren, apart from the header, because I just thought he was brilliant. I mean, look, Lucas was superb, Joe Allen was good. Sterling was good first half, but Lovren, I just thought, I thought, you know what, I've given him some shit this this season, and he stepped up today, and he was he was superb. Like. You being the bigger man, I am being the bigger man because you know, I'm, I huge. To, well, sometimes I have to be. <laughs> just sometimes, sometimes, just sometimes, we get sensible words for Mr. Chris Page. Nice one, mate. Cheers, mate. Buzzing after that? Um, yeah, this is quite easy to beat Newcastle. They're not very good, <laughs> so doesn't really matter. Even with John Carver in charge, they're awful. Yeah, we probably should have. Uh, it should have been a lot more than it was. Yeah, but then I bet 2-0, so I wanted it to stay at 2-0, not 4-0 like it should have been. 